Hi, and welcome to the SJ Childs Show. I'm your host, SJ Childs. SJ Childs Show brings value to families through education, resources, and lots of laughs. You can find us on our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and all of your favorite podcast platforms. You can also find our special children's books at sjchilds.org. Thank you for all of those who have hosted me on your podcasts. Enjoy the show. Hi, and welcome to the SJ Childs Show. I'm your host, SJ Childs, and today I have some spectacular guests for you. We have Faith and Karen Gilbo. They are here from the East Coast and also Joyce Chopra. And I don't know where, where Joyce is coming from, but okay. I'm based out of Utah. So we're glad to be able to meet like this, to get together and to have a really amazing conversation today. Um, I met Karen through an, another fellow podcaster, Jimmy Apple. So thank you so much, Jimmy, for putting us in touch uh, I want to introduce Faith and Karen and let them kind of tell you, you know, about their selves and also give Joyce a chance to, to introduce herself and, and let her know what part of the story she, she is here. So thanks so much for being here, Faith. Thank you. So what do you want to tell them? Tell us uh, how old you are and, you know, kind of like your introduction that you might give when you're introducing yourself. Hi, I'm Faith Gobo. I am 17 years old. Mm-hmm. How about where do you go to school? Maryland School for the One. Mm-hmm. And I heard that you really like it there. Yeah, I do. There's a residential program, so... Hopefully, someday. She wants to get into the residential program so she can work on her independent skills. I love that. I mean, the courage of this young lady. Tell us about um, your journey and kind of what brought you here today, Faith. Sure. So um, a day before the fashion show, when we have dreams, I reached out to us and said, hey, I have this opportunity with my kids. Do you want to do it? And I said, sure, yeah, that's fine. I would love to do a film, especially one that d- does awareness like that. It's just really awesome. So we have been involved with Runway Dreams since 2015. That's five years. It's a nonprofit. Um, and it was founded by Mindy Shire. And she, her one son has a rare form of muscular dystrophy. He came home from school one day and he wanted to wear jeans just like everybody she else. Can, she can tell her story in your sleep. I can, cause I love them. <laughs> so she ended up taking literally, she's like, all right. And her son wears AFOs, which for people that don't know, AFOs are, are the braces that are on the children's feet. And it's very, very hard to get any type of, of pants to go over them. So she started ripping apart stuff at her kitchen table. One thing led to another. She started um, focus groups and then she started the nonprofit. And then lo and behold, in 2016, she ended up partnering with Tommy Hilfiger um, to launch the first adaptive clothing, which is now Tommy Adaptive. And Faith got to be involved in that. So she was in the first 2016 Romeo Dreams Gala. She was uh, in the photo shoot for the fall and holiday photo shoot. And who were you in the holiday photo shoot with? Oliver. Oliver. And then, which is her son. Mm-hmm, and then nice. we got an invite to the White House, um, which they were celebrating um, inclusive design. I didn't get to my, but it was still awesome. Yes. Oh, yeah. It was celebrating inclusive design, prosthetics, and um, assistive technology. And there was only 130 people that were invited and we got to go with them. So that was a really great experience. And then she was asked to, um, again, walk in the 2019. And then literally a day before we got the phone call with this opportunity and we were on FaceTime with the producers and the directors and everybody else. And lo and behold, here we are. Here we now are. We're in the documentary. It's been an amazing experience. Oh, that's incredible. And you know, that's a great, 
segue for Joyce. Joyce, hello. Uh, Thank you so much for being here today. Uh, I'm in Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh, I I was tempted to say I'm from Mars, but (laughs) (laughs) it's possible. Yeah, right? (laughs) Hey, I'm sending rockets there now. You do, right? (laughs) Right. So nice to have you here today. Uh, Tell us a little bit about yourself. I am just, I'd rather let you do it so I can, you can do the the honors. Well, I've been making, (laughs) I've been making films for, golly, more than 50 years. I started in documentaries. I then sort of segued into features. My first one was a film called Smooth Talk with Laura Dern, which won first prize at Sundance and has now been released on Criterion. Anyway, uh, I got to the point a while ago when I thought I, I have to do something more than make films for myself. And I met the woman who runs by kids, which is a nonprofit. And basically she seduces people like me with a lot of experience <laughs> to basically work for free <laughs> or close oh. to mentor young people. Yeah. And it's, it's a wonderful exchange because I learn a lot doing it. It's and in this case, I learned a lot about living with disability. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we haven't mentioned yet, but um, faith does have cerebral palsy and um, a form of neurological um, vision impairment. Uh, And so, yeah, and I'll let her, when we get back, I'll let her tell you a little bit more about that. Um, I also have epilepsy, so. Oh, (laughs) my God. Well, you, they just didn't want to miss too many things, I guess. Uh, (laughs) um, You, you're, your spirit and your, you know, radiance. It's, it's amazing. I, it's just incredible that, and so inspiring to so many people. And I did see the adaptive clothing, you know, the, the commercial or the little show, and it was beautiful. And I'm, I'm so proud of you guys. And so honored that you were be able to, you know, to do that, to be a part of that. And that she made something that important for the community, for the disabled community, because I, I'm a big advocate. So <laughs> I have to interrupt a second. I'd like to explain to people what adaptive clothing is. Yes, please. Actually, how it will, or Karen or Faith, what it is that happens. It's not you rip things apart. Karen or Faith, just describe what's what it is. Yeah. It's magnets and buttons and you basically could put a dress on yourself instead of having a caregiver put it on for you so it's just super awesome so it's for a shirt say it's a button down shirt it looks like your regular typical buttons but it's not it's magnets for your pants again they use magnets and um, velcro and up and down the seams and stuff yes that is incredible Mm-hmm. Yep, they do it at the, at the top here, so that way it's, it gives you more room to put on. Um, but the best for me was was by far the pants because Absolutely. there has there's a slit at the bottom of them with the magnets, and some have Velcro, and you just open them up, and you put those bad boys on, as I say, those AFOs, and then you just <laughs> slap those magnets, so you're not sitting there like pulling and sweating and taking 15 minutes to get you know everything off. Yeah, and not is it comfortable, safety. Faith? Are the clothes comfortable? Um, sometimes at first it could be itchy, but then you get used to it. Yeah, I don't think they're itchy, and a lot of them too. Um, a lot of them are actually doing tagless too, because there's um, so there's a Tommy adaptive, there's Cole's adaptive, there's Cat and Jack, there's yep, the Target, Target. yeah, mm-hmm. and then um, Zappos is huge because they are carry... they doing something with Cole's too? Yes, Cole's adaptive and Zappos. You can go on Zappos adaptive, um, and they're amazing there. Um, yeah, twenty percent off coupon, and got her some more Billy Footwear sneakers from Derek. From yes. Derek, um, <laughs> there, yes, and uh, so they carry all the different brands. Um, I love that. Kind of like a one-stop shop. Um, which is nice. So, and I think a lot of people don't even realize that there's a. They also do. Yeah. They also do sensory stuff for people that don't like itchy tags. Yes. Yeah, so they yeah. have the tag. It's tagless. They also. Me, I don't like itchy tags. I'll scratch myself roll and irritate myself. <laughs> Karen, what are tagless? I don't know what that is. Tagless. So there's no tags. You know how you have the. Mm. Oh, oh, tags oh, tagless. Tag mm-hmm. yeah. It sounds like you're saying t- taglets. No. Oh. It's, it's my yeah. It's my accent. You know, <laughs> I have. Y'all. My, my family. Um, 
each member has autism, uh, including my husband and my children, my three children. And so we all have some sensory issues that challenges that happen. And we completely understand that the wanting to get that, you know, correct sensory input output going on over here. So I I understand. The other one I wanted to mention too, is what they do is, so say you have a sweatshirt and you know how it has the pocket in the front that you put your hands in. Looks just like everybody else. Well, it's a G2 pole. I don't have one, but it could be good for people because it hides the right. G2 so that's the trick. Oh, There's a pole that wonderful for people who have G2. Yeah. So you would never know. They make um they they make uh in the pants when people are for seated in a wheelchair. Yeah, that's perfect. So there was extra material, so that way it's not, you know. Yeah, because a lot of people with CP have G tubes, but I don't. I got lucky in that. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah, that's great. Well, let's talk about the fit, the documentary, and um, reopening my notes here. <laughs> Sorry about that, but no, your oh, phone. screen shut down. Um, yeah. Let's talk about how, you know, is there a person? that inspired you or is there anybody in your life that you're inspired by bethany hamilton oh wow that's great what why do you why we do choose bethany because after she got her arm bit off by a shark and everything i loved how she kept going really courageous and just that you know that umph in life to just not give up she I got, always she got yeah. back in the water like six days afterwards or something. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, I agree. I think that I, I hope my kids embody that same, you know, I always tell them like, it's the best thing you can do is give yourself the best life you can give yourself. And that's by getting up and having courage and yeah. Oh, I'm sure that Joyce is had a lot of experience in, in doing that too and oh, meeting gracious. some amazing people yeah well also being a woman in, in the in the field that i'm in yeah uh when i <laughs> i'll put it this way i directed my first made for television movie they don't make them anymore but it used to be every sunday and wednesday night cbs nbc abc had yeah. a movie for television and this was 1991 there had been thousands of these films made and only 10 women had ever directed any of them. And one woman had directed five of them. <laughs> so that's what I was up against, you know. Oh, that's uh, cool. uh, and, it, and now in the last few years, it's changed dramatically. Yeah, that's But nice. I, I also did an episode of Law and Order, Special Victims hey. Unit, it was their fifth season. They had hired one woman three seasons ago and she was found wanting. And the producer was awful to me. I mean, oh. just didn't want oh, me there. I was forced on him. Oh. You know, and now it's changed. They're about women and anyway, that was Good. my big problem really. Yeah. Just battling that, yeah. I can imagine. Uh, that is so true, definitely. I mean, what a big thing to come up against. and. You know, there's a lot of women in podcasting. There's probably a lot more men. I don't know, but <laughs> you know, the same thing probably. And you know, I've really tried to separate myself and say I'm a talk show host. This is a talk show. I'm, I'm you know, it's yeah. what we can do, right? To just kind mm-hmm. of shine with a different light. And so I, I love that. Um, Karen, mm-hmm. I am so excited to talk to you and happy that we get to connect. I want to talk to you about the, you know, how's this journey been for you and maybe some exciting things and maybe any challenging things that throughout this journey and, and the documentary process with her. I just think it's been an amazing experience from, you know, from the start, we've always wanted to do something like this. We've always wanted to highlight. um, We've always wanted to actually do a reality show series that's highlighting, you know, all different types of people with disabilities and, you know, cause there's so many people on all different levels and just show the realness of uh, the backstory and their daily, you know, how they live their daily lives and how some people take things for granted. Um, you know, we were on a, um, a call before this and, and Joyce, when we were talking about how you kept that one scene all the way through to show how long the different ways yeah. at school for her to learn, that's just like one small piece. So I think some people don't realize, you know, 
how much really it takes for, for a lot of these kids. Um, and you, ha and also you have to give them the time to do it and you have to give them the support in order to do it as well, but they can succeed. Um, but it's, it's just really showcasing um, and making awareness and just so that the, the kids, you know, they're just, they're human, just like everybody else. They want to yeah, be like absolutely. everybody else, you know, approach them, talk to them. Don't be afraid of them. Ask questions. They're open to That's answer so, anything. Yeah. yeah, you know, definitely. yeah. And I think, and then we, and let me just read here from um, today. It came out in the, um, I can read it. the news, well, you can tell me that. Um, how it says, all right. So the documentary, um, in Maryland, actually here in Maryland, Maryland it's, it's yeah. playing May 15th at eight o'clock. Oh, but wonderful. It's, um, so eventually it will be sent to 1.8 million, million American kids. teachers in 155 different cities this spring. It will then be shown in 150 countries across the world. Um, and then the film with the introduction by actress Ashley Judd comes with a teaching toolkit. So I think that it's, it's amazing that, you know, it, not only is it going to be shown on to so many people on TV, but it's really going to help these kids bring the awareness. Bring yeah. About so that's like, really Oh, that's so important. You know, that's one of, I think the most important places to start. And I sad that it's, you know, we put a lot of pressure on teachers. I wish that they would support them more in supporting kids in their emotional intelligence, just as much as their education. Um, I, I believe truly in teaching kids early on about, you know, special, special needs and differences, because it's when kids are, are come up with differences that they face them with fear, unless they have knowledge to be supportive and to be understanding are, are, is there much, um, are there any books, children's books or anything about cerebral palsy? Like I want to write one. She wants to write one. Let's do it together. Uh, uh, let's do it together. Faith. I think that that would be amazing. I, you know, I, I love to celebrate and bring awareness to all the unique. That's always been a dream of mine. I love that. It's so, it's so great. You know, I have a nine-year-old and she is on this, um, she's going to be tested to be on the spectrum, but we, you know, when you know, right. And, um, she also has dyslexia and she is an incredible artist and drawing and thinks she draws these incredible things. And so when she was eight, she illustrated her first book and I published it for her. So yeah, it's, you can do it now, Faith, you know, it's something you can do at any age. Well, when you have time, of course, but yeah, you, you can make time, right? Yes. And you know, there's so many great I programs like Jimmy on Apple the computer. Like, I want to write a book. Yeah. She told Jimmy Apple that too. Yeah. I love that. And there's so many great programs that you can do voiced text. Um, and you can do, you know, we're helping our daughter with that because she really struggles with writing. And I noticed you're left-handed when you were writing on your thing, signing in for school. I was like, Oh, she's left-handed. Look at that. Yeah, which makes it even harder for me. I'm like, yeah. how do I help her even? I'm like, Oh my gosh, <laughs> that's different. Yeah. That's really unique. Yeah. So I, I don't know why I noticed, but yeah, I yeah. <laughs> That's and I think too, like when people talk to us about the documentary and stuff, and it's not like it's our, we're just sharing our daily lives. I mean, that yeah. is, they call us famous, but we're not famous. Well, she, she doesn't like the term oh. famous. She doesn't want to be a celebrity. She wants to be an advocate is what I love that. she prefers is to be an advocate. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. And, and also, do you want to tell them about the film festival? Oh, I was united and united and dead yeah i, I can't it's a mouthful it. great it's the united nations association film festival in california wow got that say that three times yes and, um so by kids submitted it by hundreds of films i was one of 60 so congratulations 600 submissions and out of those 600 submissions hers was one of 60 that was chosen to be featured one and then to top that off her and Teresi got the kids vision award wow um, one, had it not been for I have Joyce a picture and, of and my, kids. Um, yeah. my computer of it yeah and then they also put it in for the um the Richmond International Film Festival, and it got accepted to that. So we're excited because I might get to go to Virginia in person. Yeah, we're going to go in person, so we get oh, to see Joyce again too. Love it. But also, I, I just think it's hard because with COVID, there were so many 
so many opportunities and experiences that she didn't get to go to yeah. because of COVID. But with that being said, it had a bit like with the film festival, it had a bigger reach. Yeah. Uh, because they there you go. It. Cause it wasn't so, just in so, person. Right. And then That's we did a cool. screening in um, 2000 uh, in December. Um, this past December, we did a screening with the United Nations of New York. Um, wow. Church will do a screening. Yeah, church said that they would do a screening. Yeah, and, uh, Faith, did you have a screening for your school? Have these people seen it? Not yet. Not yet. They, a, lot of them, a lot of them have um, signed on for the first screening, Great. but I know they're working with Holly to have a screening for the school. They could also see Great. it on PBS this Saturday. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Looks like we may have froze up a little bit. Wait and see. Fix face. Here we go. Away. And then finally said, can I take your hand? And I was thinking about it. Would I have been that patient? You know, That's she's. Ali um, Aliza. And then yeah. I miss Amanda this year. She's. Mm -hmm. Oh. I also love her as well. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I, I love all the teachers that ran school for the blind. They're mm. so. They're so wonderful. Yep. That is so great. What was it like for you, Joyce, when you first met Faith? What was that like for you? Oh, it was easy. I love that. <laughs> you know, I just arrived at their house and we'd spoken on the phone, but that's yeah. not the same thing. But it was just natural. I don't know how else to put it. And I have to compliment particularly Karen. I think Karen is really the producer because Aww. she's the one who would arrange when we would go to the horseback. I mean, she just un understands how to produce and not many people do. And she just got it all immediately, you know, the, and anyway, so I want to thank you, Great. Karen. Thank you. And that's a huge and face both like from you. That's like <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I love it. And we just adored them. Like we, you know, we would have breakfast, lunch and dinner with them. We would just yeah. sit here and talk. Them is my, my, my assistant yeah. partner, Kat. Yeah. yeah, it was just it, it was just amazing because we I feel we feel so bonded with them. Yeah, you know we, I, were eat, we were even eating takeout with them and acting like that was a normal thing. Yeah, yes, I very normal. normal. <laughs> I cooked dinner and we all sat down at the table and had dinner. And cooked, right? Great, yeah. <laughs> I love that. And so, Faith, why don't you share? So, there was one thing when when that Faith was really 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 excited about when she found out. Um, when she was a little bit younger, she was completely into American Girl dolls, like you know. <laughs> yes. And then when we we were like, all right, who's this Joyce? We're gonna search her and look her up and see what movies and TV shows she I did. I screamed. I was so excited. So tell them what movie did she did she direct? Molly. Yes, American Girl oh. doll movie Molly. I love American Girl movies. Actually, my daughter and I love them too. So oh, that's I did. I fantastic. did this. I did a live action about the Molly doll. I loved it because the period was the 40s, which is my period. Awesome. Yeah, and the kids were great. I love working with young people, as you could see. Yeah, yeah definitely. And you're <laughs> so patient and graceful. Just uh, so, yeah, that's so exciting. And then she went and she got um, she got the book and it was the behind the scenes of Molly. Oh yes, I gave so that to yes, yes. oh, like, and and she signed it for her. Oh, I love that. Tell me, I was her own little American girl. <laughs> and she's grown to love you more and more each day as she works with I you. Bet. <laughs> yeah, that's so that's neat. neat. What amazing connections we can make. Mm -hmm. In in the most um, unexpected ways, sometimes, right? Yeah. What well, yeah. after after filming, Joyce? Like, what yeah. do you think your takeaway from it was? How did you? Well, that's, a, that's a pretty big question. I, know. Uh, I don't want to answer in generality. <laughs> My takeaway is that Faith is okay. She's an okay kid. <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I have a dad like that, so I know when someone's joking. <laughs> yes, isn't that funny, right? No, I, I, I can. Uh, I'm just watching. You know how much energy and excitement you have about being an advocate makes me so happy to celebrate that, and and just as much as as Joyce, I'm sure. So. Thank you guys so much. What do you think, um, Karen, what's some advice you might give to other parents, 
you know, how they can empower their kids in, in the same way that you have. Be patient and hang in there. Yes. So I would say, I love that. Did you want to say something, Joyce? No, I say precisely. Yeah. So, So I would say the best advice I can, I can say is get, do your research, get out there, and find a support group and other other families yeah. that are going through what you're going through. I got in, uh, involved with the Ark Northern Chesapeake region back in 2006 when she was like about six years old when we moved to Maryland. And from there, it's just spiraled because we, everybody's kids are at different ages. And we look up to the ones that kids are older. So they've been through it. So they're teaching us and showing us the ropes and giving us the resources. And it's like, oh my gosh, oh, I never thought about that, you mm-hmm. know? And so now I'm in the position where I'm able to help the younger ones coming up. So it's, yeah. it's that triple, that, that trickle effect, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you get involved with parents that really know what and, you're going And through. she works for treatment and foster care. So this lady does good work right here. Oh. So yes, I, I, I happen to work for the ARC Northern Speak region now. Um, for <laughs> years, and I'm in the treatment, uh, treatment foster care department. Wow. So it goes hand in hand because the ARC, I mean, there's chapters all over. Yeah. Um, so amazing. Their family support services. That's where, that's where you need to go um, and, and, and link up. Um, you know, I love that. Just find support groups. And a lot of times the schools too. Um, I had chaired the special education citizens advisory committee for two years um, and different states, they're called something different, but it's basically parents um, with children the with PTO. disabilities. Is it PTO? it's kind of like a PTO, but for special oh, needs. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we work, you know, closely with the director of special um, education. And then we just, we have different kinds of um, topics and presenters come yeah. in. So it's, you know, and actually I had gotten um, a gentleman that I went to school with, um, Dr. Paul, he has CP also. And I he had- He stayed at our house for a month. Yeah. Wow. Not a month. <laughs> Not a month. That he did come and stay with us, and he actually um, presented in two of our schools, and then at the board meeting. Um, he, I think he stayed at Grammy's house. Yes, he stayed at Grammy's house. That's um, cool. While Grammy was away, but um, you're leaving out Karen something very important, uh, uh, which Faith asked you in the movie. Why did you you made all these videos of Faith as she was growing up? And that you put, you posted them for other people to help them. Oh. That to me was the most important yeah. thing. That's when, amazing. If you can mm-hmm. help at least one person, and the, and that's yeah. why it's like, you know, I know some of the girls don't like to be called inspiration. There's like that fine line, you know. Yeah. Like, okay. If, you, if if it's something that you show and put out there, and if it can help someone, mm-hmm. you know, in any way possible, I I think that that needs to be. Um, and like that is that. kind of inspiring, yeah. inspiring in a way to me. Um, yeah. But again, you don't want people to, you know, to feel sorry for you. It's just the way it is. It's our everyday life. But yeah, it's just, I wanted, I wanted to, to share her. When I go out to restaurants, sometimes I get stares. So if you're curious, just ask questions. Yep. Just ask know. questions. Yeah. I love that. I think it's so important to give kids the power to ask questions because they just, they want the knowledge and they don't want to, they don't want to be confused or fearful that they don't understand a situation or a person's behavior. Um, I think that it's so important to, uh, one time just a few years ago, when, when we go around to trick or treating, you know, it's, it's hard sometimes with our son with autism, because he wants to go into people's houses when they open their doors. <laughs> he doesn't realize it's a take and go. He's like, woohoo, I'm coming to visit. And so finally one year, I just put a little label on his costume that said, I have autism, please be patient. And, you know, everyone was so kind and so understanding and they really gave him, um, grace and, and time. And it was so nice. And it was just a little bit of knowledge that they need to help support, you know, that situation. So I love that. I I think that that's, that's great. It's kind of a reverse asking a question, but rather giving the answer up, right? Uh, Up for them. Yeah. And I could say same thing. There's an experience that comes back to mind too. Um, You know, when we first started going to our church, you know, and you know how some people, you know, they pray for healing and everything. But I almost feel like, you know, God has a bigger plan for her and there's a reason. And I think that he's using her in the way that 
he's supposed to, and it's to shine a light on others and to, to, you know, that showing others that, you know, it's okay to be different and yes, they're just as loved and that, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like she is kind of living her purpose when the time comes, the time will come, but she's, um, that's kind of how I feel on that. Yeah. How do you feel on that there, Faith? I just feel like <clears throat> they can, like. Do you feel God made you the way you are for a reason? Yeah, and then I feel like they can pray for healing, but I'm like, they're like, oh no. And I'm like, just be patient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is what? Right? I didn't hear that this is just what? Be patient <laughs> just be patient I love that that's patience is a virtue right when we we definitely have to find the way I earn over time <laughs> wonderful it's been such an honor and a pleasure to have you all here with me today um I Karen or Joyce either of you please feel free and let us know where everybody can find the show and the information yes. about that. And we'll of course have all the links down in the description so that everyone will know where to find it as well. And this will be um, posted on YouTube. So it's we almost can. almost like you're saying yeah. peanut butter and jelly, but you're saying PS. Yeah, right? <laughs> so so it's, um, anybody can also go to, uh, just look up by kids, B-Y kids. Great. Um, and you can actually look at all the different um, films that they're that they that they're working on the different seasons also yeah um but if you even if you just google face world pbs um it will come up joyce do you have any words no it's just you know the pbs the film is sponsored by a, a pbs station in new york wnet and they offer it to the pbs stations around the country and each station picks its time yeah they're going to show it. Yeah. So it's all over the place. Yeah, I love that. That's best, right? To just yeah. get it in front of as many audiences yes. as possible. Yes, it's going to be seen by millions. Finally. I yeah. love that. Yeah. Yeah. And they rebroadcast them. That's a hard, that's the hardest part is, is, is okay. We got it done. Now we got to wait for so long for it to come out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So I also love this thing about my answer the one is that there's a one in like every company. Oh, in their own oh, the bun, there's, yeah. there's, they have them in several places. Yeah. And then for Faith and I, um, we usually tag team everything. Um, one, again, because of a lot of the scribing, which Facebook, Facebook, I'm calling them out. They need to, to do something with speech to text and text to speech mm. because she can't go on that. So she likes to go on TikTok because she, yeah. she goes and replies to a story. She can do the, the speech to text. But the issue is we, she can go through Facebook and stuff, but she, it doesn't allow you and to do TikTok, the speech to text, if you put, so she can't like, read it. If you put like some, yeah. some word, words on it, it can read it back to you and see it for blind people, which I think is awesome. That yep. is awesome. Well, I have a TikTok account, so we'll hook up Faith and we'll be able yeah. to promote your, to promote this show on yeah. your page and my page. Yeah. But otherwise it said, um, Gilbo girls, which is Great. my last name, which is up there. Just Gilbo girls. I, I have, that. Facebook. We have a YouTube channel where I uploaded a lot of our stuff from see when she was from young all the way oh, up. And I feel like the film is also great too, because it puts the point across of like, I'm not suffering from here. I'm yeah. living with you. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're living your best life and, and doing all of these great things. And you have, you know, ideas and goals for the future. Is there a specific uh, uh, goal? I should have, I think I was going to ask you that. Is there any future goals that you have faith, like anything that you want more than anything else? <laughs> what do you think, mom? That's a, <laughs> what do you want to do? What do you want to do the most? What's a goal of yours that you want to do? We know you want to write a children's book. Yeah. And I also want, I also want to like find a job where I can help people. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that. I am. I can't imagine you wouldn't be able to find one. I'm sure I think that. So. Yes, she will. They'll be reaching out to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you guys so much for being Thank on the show today. Me. It's been a Thank pleasure. You. 
Um, I just honor each of you as women and thank you for our mothers on the show for this mo last Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. And Faith, um, I am giving you a virtual hug, high fives, all the good stuff. And I am excited to, to see how this all goes. And I hope that we can connect again in the future. Oh, Let's and also a community dog in the future. Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can I put one plug in there? I'm just such a plug. Please, please. So, so any, there's no time limit. So if, if there are any, because I know a lot of people that watch your show and you do a lot of interviews with people with disabilities. So Mindy Shire um, from Runway of Dreams, she also birthed um, Gamut Management. So it's G A M U T management. Okay. And it's a talent agency for people with disabilities. So um, I, if anybody's interested in modeling, filming anything, um, she, okay. they actually hosted a uh, webinar with- They do Broadway too in place. Ooh. Yeah, so with six different casting, Sweet. six different casting agencies. And then they have 700 um, gamut talent. Each one of them were able to submit, um, they gave you like three choices, but submit a self tape. Oh yeah. And they chose 20 people from there to move mm -hmm. on and faith was one of those 20 mm -hmm. so yeah and i'm also waiting to hear back from my show i can't say what show but i can say it's on the cw Woo! She, so she was one of 20 and she got 10 minutes um of zoom time with three different directors casting directors great and mm -hmm. then a and then a fourth one so and then one of the casting directors put something in front of me so i'm not gonna wait yeah so, you know, as I said, the more you do it and put in auditions and the more you get used to doing it, the more natural and it. So true. Know, Definitely. You know? so, um, so if there's anybody out there that is interested in any of that, go to Gamut Management because they can help you. Because I think their support. locations are in New York, New Jersey, and LA. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the casting directors. So that's anyways, fantastic. That was my Thank little. you. No, I think that that's great. And you, if you think of anything else, get a hold of me and we'll put it all down. You know, we'll make sure that it's mentioned somewhere and we can type some more info in, in wherever. So yeah, I'm probably not as great as producing videos as, as Joyce maybe <laughs> after 50 <laughs> years since I've only been about two months into it, but <laughs> we'll do our best over here. Oh, uh, thank you. Guys. That's sure. Yeah. Right. We have to start somewhere, right? Or right. We can't yep. start at all. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Bye, Joyce. Bye. Love you. you warm at night when you are cold I'll grab some blankets from my bed wrap them around your chest and I'll pull you close we'll flip some channels to find out there's nothing all right now to ease your mind sit back relax there is no rush no need to speed things up all we have is
Sunsets, I won't let you forget that I, I need you. Spring comes and spring goes forever. You will know that I, I love you. Sunrise and sunsets, I won't let you forget that I, I need you. Spring comes and spring goes forever. You will know that I, I love you.